Welcome to Booze and the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a coconut rum punch. Now, this is a simple tropical cocktail that's easy to make and leans completely on the coconut flavors that we have in front of you, and a little splash of lime. Now, you could use any type of overproof rum that you want. I'm using Ray and Nephew, but if you use one that's too high in alcohol volume or ABV, it'll throw it right out of whack. So you have to be careful about this. Now this is a shaken cocktail, but what we are going to do is we're gonna start this with a little bit of lime juice. We don't need much. So what we're going to do is we're gonna cut this in half, cut out a wedge, and then make sure we trim the white piece off the wedge for our garnish. We're then going to measure out half an ounce or 15 mil and pour that into the glass. Our next ingredient is a sweetener. In this case, we're using some homemade cream of coconut. We don't need a lot. We're just going to use three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. Our third ingredient is coconut water. Now this will do two things. This will amp up our coconut flavor and it'll also add to our hydration. So you will not have to shake quite as much, but we do need a total of three ounces or 90 milliliters. Now that you've got all of this together, what we are going to add is our Jamaican rum. In this case, I'm using Ray and Nephew. It is an overproof rum at a total of 63% ABV or 126 proof. We're going to use a total of an ounce and a half or 45 mils. Our next step in the process is to shake this with some ice. We wanna make sure that our glass is completely filled with ice. And we're going to use cubed ice. Uh, you could use a little bit of crushed ice if you want. However, you have to make sure that you short, do a very short shake for that. And the reason I say that is you just wanna make sure that you don't over dilute it. So what you wanna do, just shake it really hard. And do that for a good eight to 10 seconds. Make sure you pop this off with the strength of a thousand coconuts. Put it off to the side. Grab yourself a tall glass with which to serve this in. Now I'm using an 11 ounce uh, highball glass, which is 330 mils. And what we're going to do is just add a little bit of fresh ice to this to get our glass going. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to strain this using our Hawthorne strainer directly into the glass. Once you've done that, grab your lime wedge, slap it on the side like so, and here you have a coconut rum punch. Absolutely gorgeous to look at. It actually looks like a glass of skim milk, so you can surprise all your friends and give it a try. Mmm, really good. You get that coconut, of course, your lime is gonna jump off, and the next thing you're gonna do is realize that you get just a splash of lime juice in there, and you can feel that uh, that little bit of overproofness from the rum. It gives you a little bit of a banana funk, which is gorgeous in this cocktail. If you like rum punches, take a look after the recipe card right up here.